to Love and Life's Journey DIY. I'm Chantel and I am so glad you're here. So as many of you have seen, Dollar Tree has been carrying a lot of nautical, coastal, beach themed items and I have picked up some of those. Today I'm going to be crafting using that theme. Some items um, are specifically the nautical themed items from Dollar Tree. Others are just items you can get every day. So uh, let's jump in and get started with these budget-friendly, easy, nautical, coastal themed DIYs. Before I get into my first DIY, I want to say thank you to Hippo for sending me this rechargeable hot glue gun and for sponsoring this video. I'm going to be reviewing this glue gun and letting you know what I think about it throughout the video. So right now I've just got it charging with the USB and it takes about an hour to an hour and a half to charge and when it's ready, the little green light comes on. Once the glue gun is charged, you do have to unplug it before you can use it. They cannot be uh, plugged in and charging and using it at the same time. I really like the size of this glue gun. It is a smaller size, but it fits in my hand really nicely. It has a removable magnetic base and it's just very lightweight and easy to, to hold on to. It does use the smaller size glue sticks and these are glue sticks that Hippo sent to me and I'm going to be using the clear ones uh, for my DIYs today. To turn the glue gun on, I'm just going to hold down this button that is at the base of the glue gun and you hold it until the red light comes on at the back of the glue gun. And once the glue gun is hot, then that light will turn green. I like to use a glass trivet from the Dollar Tree to set my glue gun on. Then if there are any drips, they just come off really easy. You can just scrape them off of the glass trivet really easily. So we'll see how well this glue gun does, um, if it drips very much or not. And I did time how long it took for this to heat up and it took three minutes. So not too bad. And now let's get into the DIYs. For this project, I'm going to be using this sailboat shaped sign from Dollar Tree, as well as this sign that I had on hand back from fall. They have this type of sign often for different seasons and in different styles. It just needs to be this kind of open box type of sign. I will also be using a 12 inch dowel that I had on hand. This one is 3 8 inch diameter, but you can use anything that's close to that and it will work just fine. Other items I will be using are some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree, as well as some small seashells. I'm just using some that we had on hand from a trip that we probably picked these up on the Oregon coast, but you can get seashells at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to be using my new favorite color of this Waverly chalk paint. This is called Dusk. And then I'm also going to be using a navy blue or a midnight blue color. And I just think these two colors go really pretty together for this nautical theme. And then I will also be using a dark brown. This is the color Truffle, also in Waverly chalk paint. So I'm just going to prep my little sailboat so that I can paint it. I'm going to remove that hanger. And then the little starfish on the sail is just a little foam sticker. And so I'm going to carefully remove that, trying not to uh, tear that uh, backing that's on there just so that I have a nice smooth surface because I just want to paint this. I actually did end up tearing it a little bit and after the fact I thought I should have used my heat tool or a blow dryer to heat this up and then it probably would have peeled off just fine. But hindsight is 2020, so I just took some sandpaper and went over where the paper tore a little bit and smoothed it out. Next I'm going to paint that right side with the uh, light blue chalk paint, the dusk color. And this is actually a plastic material that's on this sign, but it paints really nicely. And I just went over this with two coats of the paint. Now 
And for the other sail, I'm going to use the Midnight Blue Acrylic Paint. And there's really no reason I'm using acrylic on this side and chalk paint on the other side. It's just that's what I had for the colors that I wanted to use. So I am going to go over this sail. And it, this did take about three coats of paint to cover this up. I'm going to use several colors for the bottom of my boat. So I'm going to start out using just an ivory colored chalk paint or white chalk paint uh, on this. And I'm going to make just kind of a stripe across the top using the white. And then I'm going to put a stripe across the bottom using the brown. Then I'll fill in the center with a stripe of a different color. The brown only took one coat, but I had to do three of the white. I decided for the stripe in the middle of my boat, I wanted to use a color that was just a little bit darker than that dusk color that I used for the sail. And this is one by Folk Art that I have called Cascade. It's just a little bit brighter and I think it will be perfect for the stripe down the center of the boat. For this stripe, I am going to use a ruler and measure and just put a couple of marks. Then I'm going to use the ruler to help um, as a guide for painting my stripe, just so I get it a little bit straighter. This metal ruler from Dollar Tree is great for this because it's pretty thin and I can just use it as a guide to paint right up against. And if I get paint on the ruler, that's fine. It will just wipe right off and then I get a nice straight edge. And if a little bit of paint does happen to get um, out of the line, then I can just touch it up with my paintbrush. But I thought this worked pretty well. Once I have all my coats of paint on and they are all completely dry, then I am going to use this stencil that I also picked up at Dollar Tree to add a little bit of a design to the navy blue sail. And I'm just using a cheapo makeup sponge for this. I think these work great because I can just use it and then throw it away. And um, it works great for stencils. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that dusk colored paint and uh, then just dab that on uh, where I want my stencil. decided I wanted to add this ribbon across that white stripe. It says meet me by the sea and it has seashells on it and it's the perfect colors. I picked this up at Dollar Tree and so I am going to be adding that with my hot glue gun. And so I just turned this on and I'm going to time how long it takes to heat up. As you can see it says 516 and I'll show you the time again when that light turns green and it is ready. Okay, the light just turned green. It is 519, only three minutes later. That's great. And honestly, this is just a way for me to show you a picture of my grandbaby. Gotta sneak that in. He's so precious. Okay, so I'm going to cut a piece of ribbon just a little bit wider than my sailboat, uh, just enough so that I can fold it over on each end and then tack it down on the back of the sailboat. And then I'll use my hot glue gun, just add a little bit of glue on each end on the front and in the middle, and then uh, turn it over and tack down those ends on the back. I feel like it is a lot easier to control where the glue is going with this glue gun, I think because not as much is coming out. So maybe if you're doing a larger project where you need a lot of glue uh, to come out, this glue gun wouldn't be ideal. But for these smaller things, it is working great. So I'm going to be using this little box shaped sign as the base to hold up my sailboat. 
and I thought about leaving it the wood grain because I kind of liked the natural look of it but then I decided I think I wanted to paint it white so I'm going to paint this with my linen white chalk paint Next I'm going to hot glue my dowel to the back of my sailboat and I'm going to leave three inches of the dowel sticking out uh, at the bottom of the sailboat. And I'm just using that uh, edge along the sail in the center of the sailboat as a guide. I decided I wanted to soften up that dark blue sail a little bit and so I'm just going to dry brush a little bit of the white paint on it with this bristly brush and just lightly go over it a little bit here and there and just add a little bit more texture and soften it up a little. And after my two coats of paint were dry on the little uh, box sign, I also dry brushed it using a little bit of the navy blue paint uh, just to make it all cohesive. Next I'm going to measure to find the center of the box and just mark that so that I know where to glue my dowel in. Then I will add a generous amount of hot glue to that spot where I marked and I'm going to stand up my sailboat with the dowel right on that spot of glue and then I'm going to add a little extra glue to this as well. The main thing is to get this straight, so you want to have it uh, stand up um, straight in all directions. So I'm adding a little extra hot glue and then I decided to give it some more support. I would add some of these little wood craft cubes from Dollar Tree and I'm putting one on each side of the dowel and this is going to give it the support it needs. And it's okay if it's not completely neat and straight because this is not going to show on the finished project. And I realized that I could put a, a cube on each of the sides of this so I had four surrounding that dowel and then put a little extra hot glue um, in in between those and it just made it very secure so uh, these little wooden cubes worked perfect for this. Next I'm going to fill up that little box using the Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. And then I'll pick out a few of those shells that I like and just scatter them along the bottom. I was also going to add some of this nautical rope from Dollar Tree but I felt like it was just too big. Uh, the scale was wrong and so I decided against that but I did find this fish net from Dollar Tree in their kind of like Hawaiian party or summer party area and I'm going to use a piece of this to uh, embellish this as well. The nice thing about this net is it comes in kind of a long piece and you can just use as little or as much as you want. I'm using about half of this and so I will have the other half to use for another project or in decorating. So here is my finished sailboat. I love how it turned out, but let me know in the comments what you think. For this next project, I'm going to be making a buoy out of this body armor drink bottle that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So now that my bottle is empty, I am going to use an X-Acto knife and carefully remove the plastic label so that I just have a clear bottle. Next I'm going to remove the lid and take off that little plastic ring that is on the bottle just because I think that makes it look more like a drink bottle so I want to remove that. I thought I could pop it off but it didn't want to come very easy so I just got the wire cutters and snipped it off. 
Then I put the lid back on and I got a drill and a drill bit and I am drilling a hole um, on through the bottle lid uh, just so that I can put a piece of twine through there. I just thought this would make it look more authentic. So I'm drilling a hole on each side straight across from each other so I can put that through. And if you don't have a drill or uh, don't want to use a drill for this, you can just glue your twine on the lid. But uh, I decided that I wanted to put it through the holes. Next I am going to take this chalk paint in the color Chiffon Cream by Rust-Oleum. I picked this up at Walmart and it's just an off-white color. I wanted to use an off-white instead of a white-white because um, I wanted this buoy to look a little bit aged and I'm going to give it uh, some more distressing and aging um, in a little bit. So you'll see that. But first I'm going to paint the entire bottle with this uh, off-white chalk paint. At first I didn't paint the lid, but I decided that I needed to paint the lid because I wanted it to blend in more. I didn't want it to like look obvious that this is a drink bottle. Once this paint is completely dry, then I am going to take this Crackle Medium. This is by Plaid. It's a folk art brand and you can pick this up at any craft store and I am going to give this a coat of this crackle medium. If you're not familiar with crackle medium, what this will do is it will cause a coat of paint that you put on top of it to crack and make it look like it's old and aged. It's actually very fun to use. I let my crackle medium dry overnight just so it's good and dry. Um, you just want to make sure that it is dry before you put the next coat of paint on. And so now I'm using some painter's tape and I'm going to tape off uh, some areas and then start adding some colors to my buoy. For the bottom section I'm going to be using that dusk colored chalk paint and when you paint over the top of crackle medium. You don't want to like go back over the coat that you're painting on. Uh, you want to try and paint it just in one because if you keep going back over it, um, it will start to pull your paint off with your paintbrush. So uh, you kind of want to work quickly with this. So I'm going to pull this tape off and then I'm going to tape off another section and add another color. For this section I'm using the dark blue paint and this is an acrylic paint and I found out kind of the hard way here um, that acrylic paint works way better for the crackle effect than chalk paint. The chalk paint doesn't allow for the uh, crackle like the acrylic. You can see here the dark blue, you can see that crackle really well and you don't see it as well in the lighter color which is a chalk paint. So now you know. I didn't know that but I found out for you. So above that painter's tape I decided to paint that section the lighter color blue as well and then I'm going to remove the painter's tape and even though that section is already the, the off-white color I am going to paint over that with an acrylic off-white paint um, for a couple of reasons. The uh, crackle medium is a gloss finish and so it looks shiny and I don't want it to look shiny and I also want it to still have that crackled effect even though it's the same color and so I'm going to paint with an acrylic paint over that uh, white or off-white colored section and the lid as well. Well, I didn't realize that the battery on my camera died and wasn't recording, but I did also add a couple of narrow uh, uh, stripes on this just to give a little bit more detail. But now it's time to add my twine and I thought about how I was going to get it through those holes and I came up with the idea of using a toothpick kind of like a needle. So that's what I'm going to try. 
So I hot glued the end of the twine to the end of the toothpick and I tried to twist it as tightly and compact it as tightly as I could so that it would fit through the hole. And it didn't want to fit through those holes so I took a little bit more hot glue and I uh, added that to the twine and used my finger protectors and then just squeezed it together and compacted it as tightly as I could and made sure there were no loose ends to catch on the hole and then I tried it again. However, it still didn't want to go through so I took my drill and I made the holes uh, just a little bit bigger, just kind of reamed them out a little bit and then I was able to get it through. Once I had it through, I just trimmed off that end where the toothpick was glued on and cut off the uh, amount of twine that I wanted. I tied a knot and then I frayed the ends below the knot. And I realized that I didn't show it in the video and I forgot to mention that after my paint was all dry I did spray it with a coat of matte sealer just to uh, protect the paint from scratching off. Let me know in the comments below what do you think? Does this pass for a buoy or does it just look like a painted drink bottle? Either way, I had fun making it. This last project will only take a few minutes using this plastic little drink tumbler with a straw that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to be using some sand, also from Dollar Tree, and some more of those shells that I had. I'm going to remove the lid and the straw from this drink cup. I'm not going to be using those. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this jute twine and wrap it around the top of the jar a couple of times. And then I'll just tie a little knot to secure it and hold it in place. Next I'm going to add my sand to the jar and I actually thought I was going to use this white sand but once I got it in there I didn't really like the looks of it and I did happen to have some sand from Dollar Tree that was more of a natural colored sand and so I ended up switching them out just because I liked it so much better. Then I'm going to take a little LED candle from Dollar Tree and you don't want to use a real one in this because it is a plastic cup uh, but the little LED candle works perfect for this. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a few little shells around the candle. I decided I wanted to add one little shell as an embellishment to that knot on the front of the uh, jute cord that I tied around the top and so I just picked out a shell I thought looked nice and added that using my hot glue gun. This was such a quick and easy project to make but I think it turned out so cute and fun. Let me know in the comments below which of these three projects was your favorite. I will put a link in my description box to the Hippo rechargeable cordless glue gun. Just a couple of final thoughts on that. I really enjoyed using it. I liked the way it felt. It was easy to use and I liked that it was cordless and that it fit in my hand well and uh, that I felt like I could control the glue well. I was also pleasantly surprised that after over an hour and a half of use, it had only dripped like three tiny little drips of glue. So that was great. 
for me the battery charge lasted about an hour and a half to two hours and then I had to recharge it so if you're doing a longer project you may want to have a backup glue gun available because you can't use the gun and charge it at the same time I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. It really helps my channel. It helps other people see my videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more budget DIYs and Dollar Tree DIYs. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.